Introduced in the year 2006-2007 financial year, the Smallholder Dairy Commercialization Program SDCP aimed at increasing the income of poor rural households that depended substantially on production and trade of dairy products for their livelihoods. The program, funded by the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, through the Government of Kenya, identified 70 dairy groups in Bungoma County in the sub-counties of Bungoma East, Bungoma South, and Bungoma North. Most of the farmer groups were started by members as merry-go-round doing indigenous chicken, goats, and cows which were not economically viable. The SDCP program introduced dairy goats to improve livelihoods for the poor households which lived below a dollar a day in Ndalu, Ndivisi, and Kandui locations. In 2011, Violet Werkesa acquired a dairy goat through Sango Women Group. The goat has since produced eight more goats, and now she has enough milk for sale and for the four orphans she is looking after in Chetambe area. Kweli nilikuwa na nyumba mbaya na nikapata mabati sekenendi nikajenga hii nyumba. Tena nikajenga hapo kanyumba ka kakuku. Tena nika nikapata pesa kutoka kwa masiwa ya mbusi nikajenga hii nyumba. Sasa nyumba ndiyo hii nimeishi. Sasa upande wa, wa mbusi tena nikapa, nikapata hii ngombe. Nikausa nikapata ngombe kweli si nilikuwa na ngombe sasa nikapata ngombe nataka nisomeze wachukuu yangu wawa paka wamalise shule sasa ile papa yao alikufa nilitaka niwafanyie sawa sawa angekuwa iko sasa lengo yangu nataka tu muradi yangu muradi hii ya mbusi hii inisaidie Kwa maana inanisaidia kwa vitu mbingi, fisi, lakini nataka ni, ni wasomesa paka, paka mwisho na wakue na furaha na mimi. Jennifer Mkani also received a goat through Sitawa group in Bukembe area following the death of her husband. The dairy goat has changed her life because she has managed to increase the number and now also bought a dairy cow from milk savings. Kana waho mundu sikombe mundu yoka ambako bisilingi bisilingi bya bya pinje etako maitaji nilalagiye munju bilala mwada ka bundu ngisako kitogo no cha chele fusita ganose chele fusita as na cha mupa memba ko bera na ikombira ko baya kha khafu na cha mupa memba na ikopako yo chiselingi Naikumukanda. Paka saa hindi kwa ni uliraho, 
Gandiana nondi. As I look at it, I see me the Kumuganda Kwaifa de Luker. Come so many go in your day. Say Ganja Kesha, now many the Huaya. Chimbus Jang and Akajabun do many ring and Naya. Other farmers opted for dairy cows after being trained on how to construct zero grazing units. But in order for goats and cows to produce enough milk for sale and consumption, the SDCP program trained them on how to produce, utilize and conserve animal feed. Some of the feeds are grasses like napia, boma rods, guatamala, giant ceteria, and mlatoan. Fodder legumes like lusan, desmodium, and fodder shrubs like caliandra, dethonia, and sesbania, among others. Other farmers use maize stovers, cotton seed cakes, and other farm remains to make animal feed. Now that there is enough to feed the dairy goats and cows, milk production went high and therefore, meeting the objective of improving the financial returns of market-oriented production and trade activities by small operators through improved information on market opportunities, cost reduction and value addition. In Ndalu area, for instance, some of the farmers are selling their milk to Brookside as they wait for a completion of their own milk collection and cooling plant. Wakulima wakija from far, one letter mazio from first. Alafu tunapatia statement in in a monthly, one lipo in a monthly basis. Uh, before we pay them, to know our statements, to know how they have been delivering milk. Kutoka tarehe moja mbaka mwisho wa mwezi. Then, mkulima anapatiwa, anaoneshwa net pay yenye me lipo, na anaoneshwa maziwa yake ya kila siku ila mekuwa kideliver from first up to that first. Bele ni maziwa yetu ilikuwa na haribika na kawanelea hii small dairy commercialization program ikasema inaweza kuletea kula kwa hivyo tukaona tuchenge nyumba na hii loko watu ambao ni wa hapa wakaweza kutupa plot pamoja na jengo hili kwa hivyo kwa wakati huo na tasamia tukipata kula vizuri kwa kulima watapata faida ya kuweza kuleta masiwa yao hapa tukifanya avadi addition inaweza kutusaidia sana kuleta faida kwa wakulima na poverty eradication itakuwa merudi jini na wakulima watakuwa na pesa kwa mfuko yao still in dalu an organization called Top Food Dairies managed to purchase a milk processing equipment to add value through sour milk or mala and yogurt. kisha maliza kukul itakuwa iko tayari sasa maana ya cooling na ikul ili acidity ispande ipaki ile desire po test ili zase kikunywa mtu akikunywa inaleta hiyo aroma ambayo ndio kitu nzuri kwa kwa maziwa The remaining milk is sold on bicycles, hence creating employment for the youth.
With all the skills acquired through trainings and study tours, dairy production has now become a business, both for individuals and groups. Sakulingana na huu mradi, wakati tulipo kuwa hatuchapada grand na mafunzo, tulikuwa tuna safe pesa kama shilingi elefu shirini, elefu shirina tano, tukitoa causes zote za overhead. Lakini wakati huu, tunapofanya hesabu yetu masiwe li ingris, ikaenda paka 800, tunaweza kuwa, tuna safe monthly, tunakuwa na kitu 70, 8,000 a month. Some farmers like Roslyn Musundi are able to plant and store bells for sale. She grows boma rods, lusan and desmodium. Kianika kwa givuli, tunataka ikauke, isipotese matini. Hapa ni 75, alafu, hapa ni 40, alafu chin ni 45. Hey, ya pomarot. Na usanga 250. Ba belt. Hii lusan ni tofauti na hii. Hii pei yake ni chuu. Nina usanga shilingi 350 pa belt. Test moti yamu na usanga shilingi 300. Kama mwaka huu nimeusa poma rot nimepata shilingi 1700 na na 500. Sasa nimefurahia kwa sababu nilipoanza nilipoanza tam si kujua ya kwamba watoto wataenda shule. Lakini nilipata tu pesa from this na nikawapeleka nika nikapeleka shule wamekaa huko ninaongocha tena alafu hii nimepata nilikata kidogo na nikapata shilingi 1500 hii lusa ne hii ndiyo imenipea saiti kwa kwa hii hii inatambaa ni mahali kitoko lakini ukikata inakuwa nyingi saiti hii Richard Hisa has bought a motorized machine to grind maize stovers, which he also sells to his neighbors, and he has managed to take his wife to college and hoping to become a millionaire through dairy farming. Kwa sababu yani ya ya hii mrati iliweza kunisaidia kweli kutokana na yani maziwa yenye tunakamua hii niweza kunisaidia alafu mzee wangu akanipeleka shuleni niweza kujifunza kwa sababu ni hata siku siku na najua yani hata kukanyaka mashini lakini niweza kukanyaka mashini nikajua hata kushona manguo saa hii najifunia ninajua kushona nguo mradi uliponipata nilikuwa kwa kanyumba haka ambaye saisi nimeichukua kuwa chikoni yangu nikajenga hii nyumba nikaleta stima ikanisaidia nikanunua hii mili mashi ambaye inanisaidia kusiagia au kutengenezea ngombe wangu chakula ambaye inanisaidia mbali na kutengenezea ngombe wangu chakula umradi umenisaidia ukanipeleka trainings Nimeenda nimefanya training ya animal feed formulation, clean milk handling na animal registration. Nimenunua mkokoteni na fahali wawili ambao wananisaidia kuleta eh, kuleta chakula kwa hawa ngombe wengine wa maziwa. Kama kwa mfano kama hii ma, mashini ilinigarimu shilingi 1065. Hii nyumba ambayo ni semi permanent ilinigarimu 1087. Hivi sasa Niko na tazamia nimeanza kuassemble material nimenunua mabati nimemwaga concrete 
nimenunua chuma nataka kuchenga nyumba ya permanent kwa kupitia kwa ufukaji wa maziwa ama ngombe wa maziwa na kuuza maziwa Kalistas Baraza on the other side has ventured into goat breeding whose demand is still very high as other farmers appreciate dairy production When I breed uh, I sell to the community Here a dog goes at a uh, uh, an average of 15 to 20 thousands so so far i have sold two of them where i have got uh, that is a uh, 30 thousands but uh, i pray that uh, next coming next year god willing because i have a number of them if they will keep down I will, of course, uh, harvest something better than what I have harvested so far. Zafred Nyongesa has not been left behind either. He is earning a living from making cheap and affordable turf cutters, which has reduced accidents in homes where people cut their fingers when using crude and tiring methods of chopping feed for their animals. Priscilla Wakisi is one of the happy clients. Uzuri wa hii machine, hata nikikuwa peke yangu, bila kijana wakazi around, na ezakata hii nyasi ni nyepesi, halafu, si raisi unini, ukate kidole, anlesi ujafuatilia juu, Wakati tunakata unaona panga unaweza wakati nilikuwa nakatia kwa moto nilikuwa nafanya hivi nakata na kumbe nitakata kidole na si kuanga na habari lakini uzuri wa hii utashika hivi kisha ingiza hapa hakuna accident itapatikana utafanya tu kazi yako bila shughuli hata kama napiga mdomo na kazi ya kukata nyazi inaendelea nikienda ni rokote tu milioni maana kusema kweli sitalala nitaunda hata kila mtu atakuwa naye bora uwe na ngombe uwe na mbuzi lazima itanipiti ni kutengeneze ukuwe naye hii mashini imesaidia sana nilikuwa nimekaa nyumbani muda mrefu bila kazi wakati nilipata hii nilipata hii kazi sasa inanisaidia sana hata watoto wanakula e, mimi mwenyewe pia nakula na maisha tunaendelea vizuri at the group level, Muliro Umoza Women Group received funds from SDCP and purchased an electrical milling machine that has enabled them produce and sell more than 150 bags of animal feed in a month. They have used some of the profits to start up greenhouse farming. Maziwa ya Muliro Umoja tunaweka pamoja from 2009 up to now. Na all members wa Muriro wako na kaunti zao wengi wamechukua loans mtu mwenye sasa anachukua loan ya chini kabisa ni 60 but we are over 100 tumefaulu na hapo tunaona maziwa na tulipia loan 2013 kikundi hiki tuliandika proposal tukapata grant tukanunua mashini yale yenye meona Na yale mashini ya metutoa mbali sana. Yale mashini ya metuesesha sisi kupata chakula ambayo iko enough kwa yungombe zetu. Community ya ndalu hapa, mambo ya kuleta chakula na kushaka wameona ni vizuri. Pia tunawuzia wenyewe kwa ile prize mzuri. Elsewhere, Mualie Women Group received funds to construct a hay store and are producing 2,000 bales per season and marketing them to farmers in the neighboring counties. This has enabled them to convince their husbands to reduce sugarcane growing, which takes three years to harvest and not bringing enough returns to improve household economy. Tuko na soko ya nyasi kutoka marori natoka tu kutoka busia, kutoka makoro, kutoka siaya, 
Hata kutoka kakameko huko, watu wanakucha hapa nyasi. Hile kiangasi hiko na mnaitu kwa na soko. Na hiyo nyasi hata tunaenda bungoma na weka kwa show. Na ndiyo pato tunaendelea ku kutaka tena soko ingie fike kwa sababu mashamba tumeongesa. Diversification is now evident as now earnings from milk have enabled some of the farmers to set up biogas units to save trees and reduce costs of buying kerosene for cooking. Florence Lucenaka from Bukembe area says biogas has brought peace in the house as her husband Alfred Lucenaka can go to the kitchen and cook his own food using biogas. <coughs> Niko na furaha kwa maana ukombi hakuna. Tena niko sawa sawa mimi najipikia saa nyingine top cream mimi na, na, na kula kwanza hata mama akija nakuta <laughs> nimekula kwa kwanza kidogo. She also has set up a poultry project which is earning her more money. Pesa ilikuwa inatoka kwa masiwa ya ngombe ndio tulitumia kununua kuku au mayai na tukawekea kuku ikatoa vifaranga kama hizi tumekuwa na kuku nyingi sana karibu 80 tukausa na tuka tukanunua chakula ya kuku na singine tukatumia kwa watoto wakienda college Priscilla Wahisi uses the remains from her biogas unit to feed the fish and also fertilize her vegetables, fruits and bananas. She also has a tree nursery which earns her good money and she can now save money from her sweater making business to invest in other projects. Indeed, life will never be the same again for the households where the small holder dairy commercialization program has covered. Siwezi acha pengine nikufe ndiyo niache nikufa ninaambia watoto wangu muendelee na mratu wa mbusi na hii masii kwa kweli inakusaidia inapunguza umaskini tulikuwa maskini ni kweli imekusaidia napenda mazao ya mbusi as per now i can at least in my pocket i have something that i can work with uh, food for the family i have enough then i'm also in a position of educating my children. Likwesi chafika ko uko shaya. Oma pei. Nasikianga tu moroni. Lakini hii mradi imefanya nimefika huko. Nimelala mahali sichalala ko kwa sababu ya hii mradi. Kama natoka kusoma mpaka ninunue ngombe. Kama tunaenda tunaikuja kununua ngombe. Sasa nyumbani nakula vizuri nalala vizuri nimechifunza kufuka ngombe nimechifunza kufuka mbusi na yote imenitenda ni mnaendelea and as these men and women of sitawa group express in this song they are like chicken which uses both legs to put food on the table the power of dairy to fight poverty is the way to go Sakuliwa makulu ya wali ya nisewa